You are watching KEVU 25 News Now at 10. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Adam Seibel. The Texas Department of State Health Services investigated an outbreak of shigalosis in Lavaca County. 25 News Now reporter Adarius McCormick has more from the restaurant linked to that outbreak. Adarius? Sadly, Adam, Cabo San Lucas Mexican Grill in Hallisville is the restaurant linked to the shigalosis outbreak. Shigalosis is a food poisoning that may cause dysentery, which is diarrhea with blood or mucus. The restaurant had this to say. We would like to offer our apologies to our customers affected by last Thursday's dinner service. We have been working closely with our food suppliers, employees, and health inspector inspectors on fixing the problem. Houston-based food and water safety lawyer Jory Lang is filing a suit for a client affected by shigalosis from the restaurant. Cabo San Lucas owner disposed and discarded all food products and ordered more. This is an ongoing investigation. We will keep you updated. Adam, back to you. Thanks, Darius. The United States Post Office released its annual list of states with the most dog bites against its carriers. And in 2022, California and Texas were the states with the highest number of dog bites. USPS says it recorded 675 attacks in California, while Texas totaled 404. Houston, L.A., and Dallas were the cities with the most dog bites. USPS says more than 5,300 of its employees nationwide were attacked by dogs last year. The post office reports this list every year as the beginning of National Dog Bite Awareness Week. The agency says it trains its carriers not to startle the dogs and to avoid interacting with them. USPS says the best thing to do is to keep your pets on a leash behind the fence, inside your home, and away from the door. Howie, it's been pretty hot this weekend. Uh, what can we expect um, for the rest of this week, those hot temperatures? Uh, later in the week, Adam, we're really going to heat up, especially with those heat indices. I'll touch on that in just a little bit. But look at our radar really taming down, calming down compared to earlier. Not that it was <laughs> too ominous, but no more yellow, orange, just really light green. These storms are starting to weaken as the energy from the sun uh, starts to evaporate as the sun has gone down. That energy is weakening. Now, there are strong storms down to the southwest again in the Corpus Christi area. We are looking at some uh, severe thunderstorm warnings. Again, though, staying out of the viewing areas. We've been dodging some strong storms, but we're still not out of the woods yet with some rain chances. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit, Adam. All right. Thanks, Howie. There were some harrowing moments in the sky over Washington, D.C. this afternoon. A massive sonic boom could be heard as F-16 fighter jets scrambled to intercept a small business jet flying in unauthorized airspace. Doorbell video captures the sonic boom as those military jets took off at supersonic speeds from Joint Base Andrews to try to stop the plane with an unresponsive pilot flying over the nation's capital. They were moving so quickly it's believed they caused the sonic boom that the region. Authorities say the Cessna Citation, which took off from Tennessee, heading to Long Island, lost contact with the FAA around 2 p.m. Those jets followed the civilian aircraft into rural Virginia, intercepting it at 3.20 p.m. They could see the pilot was incapacitated. NORAD says it attempted to establish contact with the pilot until the aircraft crashed. The FAA and the NTSB investigating that incident Authorities are still searching for the crash site, which is in Virginia, which is being hampered by reports of heavy fog. California investigators are looking into how more than a dozen migrants arrived in Sacramento by private jet. Democratic Governor Gavin Newsom and Attorney General Rob Benita said there was no prior arrangement in place. California state officials on Saturday met with the group who had documentation to be from the government of the state of Florida. The immigrants were taken from Texas to New Mexico, then flown by private charter jet to California. Newsom said the group was, quote, dumped on the doorstep of a local church without any advanced warning. The attorney general said prosecutors are now evaluating potential criminal or civil action against those who transported or arranged the transport. The federal grand jury in the Donald Trump classified documents case is expected to meet this week. The grand jury is meeting after a long hiatus. It's part of the Justice Department's investigation into the former president's handling of classified documents found at Mar-a-Lago. Prosecutors working for special counsel Jack Smith have been presenting the grand jury with evidence and witness testimony for months. It's unclear whether prosecutors are prepared to seek an indictment at this point. 
The Justice Department has not commented on the status of the investigation. Trump maintains that he has broken no laws and that the investigation politically motivated. All right, Crossroads, grab your cell phone and scan this QR code that you see right here. That's a quick response code to download the Crossroads Today app. You can watch us anytime, anywhere, and get breaking news alerts and vote in our viewer polls. You can learn all about our ongoing contests right there on your app. You can also submit news tips and photos. Stay with us. Coming up, 25 News Now reporter Adarius McCormick talks with Texas Tribune reporter Renzo Downey in this week's Capitol Report. Storm Prep 2023. Your first Warren Storm Team will take us through this year's hurricane predictions. Chief Meteorologist Mac Perez speaks with descendants of Indianola, a town that was wiped out from back-to-back -back hurricanes. Adarius McCormick explains just how simple evacuating really is. June 5th on KAVU-TV at 6.30 p.m. Storm Prep 2023. Stream it live or on demand on Crossroads Today Plus. View it and our Crossroads Today YouTube page. As our storms weaken overnight, they should activate potentially again tomorrow. We'll talk about it in a little bit. Tired of your typical clock in, clock out job? You need a rewarding career in an entertaining environment that you'll enjoy. Take yourself out of the box and come to the Victoria Television Group. We have an active, fun, creative atmosphere that can help you succeed and keep those everyday work blues away. Come join our energetic and outgoing sales team. Renew your career and learn to use skills you didn't know you had. Call us 361-575-2500 or email opportunity at victoriatelevision.com for more information. Hi folks, Greg at Full of Pep. A longtime customer talked to me the other day and told me they switched to a horse feed from another company because it was cheaper than ours. Before long, the shape of his horses deteriorated and one ended up at the vet. Our equine feeds are formulated to keep your horses in the best condition and maintain peak performance at any life stage. We're not the cheapest, but we sell a superior quality product at a fair price. And in my opinion, that's value. Come see us at Full of Pep. When you don't keep your eyes on what you're doing, it can be downright dangerous to you and others, especially when you're behind the wheel. Put your phone down. Heads up, Texas. Do you know of an outstanding athlete in your area? Go to CrossroadsToday.com and submit your nomination for the Athlete of the Week. Tune in to 25 News Now on Thursdays 6 p.m. news and Fridays 6 a.m. news to see who will be the Athlete of the Week. Texas? Now's the time to gear up and save on a new Ford SUV. Get great deals on our most capable lineup. Now with a great in-stock selection to choose from, like the spacious and tech-savvy Ford Expedition or Ford Explorer and Bronco Sport. Ford SUVs, number one in brand loyalty. Drive a 2023 Ford Expedition with 2-9 financing for 60 months, plus a thousand bonus cash and complimentary maintenance. Ford is the best in Texas. Are you on the hunt for your dream home? Look no further than Russell Kane Real Estate. We're committed to helping you find the perfect place to call your home. Our commitment to helping others runs deep and we're proud to support local charities and causes that make a positive impact. And to make your home buying experience even better, we're offering a $250 credit towards your closing costs. Visit us and let us start the next chapter of your life with confidence and peace of mind. 25 News Now reporter Darius McCormick talks with Texas Tribune reporter Renzo Downey in this week's Capitol Report. I'm here with Renzo Downey, a Capitol reporter with Texas Tribune, discussing one of the hottest topics in our region today, Attorney General Ken Paxton. Right now, General Paxton is suspended and has two legendary prosecutors on his impeachment trial. First of all, Renzo, how are you today? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Well, my first question is, what does this mean for Ken Paxton's future? Yeah, well, it sounds like the House impeachment managers have hired some uh, pretty powerful uh, legendary attorneys here. Uh, they've hired uh, Dick DeGarren and uh, Rusty Hardin. And uh, those two together have, well, not together, but those two each have uh, defended some high-profile uh, Defendants in the past, but now it looks like they're uh, going to be working for the prosecution here, uh, going after uh, Ken Paxton when he has his Senate trial later this year. 
DeGuerin and Hardin say they are, they plan to be open about the case. How much can they share about this case? Yeah, you know, well, uh, the House has already kind of laid out um, many of the charges of, you know, facing uh, Ken Paxson. And a lot of it is already out in the public. But it sounds like uh, there might be some things that, you know, haven't come to light yet. And it uh, sounds like there's you know, some more troubling allegations that they're going to level. So it uh, sounds like it will come out in, in the future, uh, but not in the immediate. And one more time, can you share with us, we've, we've heard about it a lot recently, can you share with us what he has been accused of? Yeah, so uh, he's facing uh, fraud charges, securities, uh, securities fraud, um, some misuse of uh, public power. Uh, it's it's sorry, it's a whole decade of charges that uh, the attorney general is facing here, uh, and it, it, there's 20 uh, charges that the House uh, agreed to. So it, it's a long list. How has though the allegations, if they are true, how have they impacted our our state? Uh, well, uh, Kim Paxson, he's been uh, in the public uh, sphere for nearly a decade now, and so these have kind of followed him. These allegations have followed him over the years, and uh, most recently he was reelected. Uh, last fall, so it, it hasn't exactly, uh, it seems like the voters so far uh, have been okay, or at least said, let's wait to see uh, him actually, you know, be, uh, actually face jail time before uh, taking action here. Well, Renzo, I appreciate you for talking to us. Thank you for catching us up. We'll keep an eye out on Kim Paxson and what comes in the future. Uh, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Darius. A Chinese warship nearly collided with a U.S. destroyer in the Taiwan Strait. The encounter captured on video by a global Canadian news crew, which was on a ship. This incident comes as tensions are mounting between the U.S. and China. The Chinese warship picked up speed and cut in front of the USS Chung Hoon. It came within 150 yards of hitting the American destroyer. This video shot from the ship which was sailing through that Taiwan Strait, which is internationally recognized waters. According to the commander of the Canadian ship, the Chinese warship changed course and told the American ship to move on or there would be a collision. Although the Americans told the Chinese to stay clear of the ship, the American destroyer had to alter course and slow down to avoid a crash. Defense officials say there have been an alarming increase in the number of risky aerial intercepts and confrontations at sea by Chinese planes and ships. So this view brings us to your viewer poll. You can scan that QR code to vote right now. Does rising tensions between the United States and China concern you? 74% say yes and 26% say no. Thank you for voting. Come to CrossroadsToday.com slash vote for all those viewer polls. Authorities say a wildfire that erupted in Michigan has been 90% contained. The Michigan Department of Natural Resources worked to contain the wildfire, and in the aftermath, there's now miles of ashes and whole plots of land clear charred. The DNR says preliminary estimates show that the fire threatened 35 homes, 38 cars, including 23 campers and three boats, and 58 outbuildings. Authorities say a campfire on private property was the cause of the fire. Fortunately, the person who started the campfire was not hurt, but the individual could be on the hook for the entire suppression cost. According to the DNR, the fire remains at approximately 2,400 acres. For more on today's news stories, come to CrossroadsToday.com. Don't forget to submit your birthday wishes. Carolina Estrain will read them live on 25 News Now Sunrise. You can also submit a local military hero so we can recognize them. Looking at some more showers next couple days. We'll talk about it straight ahead. Pick up the tempo at Clayton Homes of Victoria, where beautiful, affordable homes don't miss a beat. Starting at $129,900, our tempo homes feature open floor plans, flex space, walk-in closets, and energy smart upgrades. Come visit Clayton Homes of Victoria today to see available floor plans that strike the perfect chord. 
The team at Clayton Homes of Victoria are trading experts and would love to talk to you about trading up into a new home. Come by and see the selection of homes at 1708 Houston Highway. Come out and visit us at Clayton Homes of Victoria. TISD is your hometown internet service provider. For nearly three decades, we've helped our neighbors access the internet with the latest technologies and capabilities. For home or business, TISD has the right technology in the right places to provide the coverage and friendly service you've come to expect. We are proud to call this our home and can't wait to help a neighbor. See what we can do for you. Visit us today at TISD.net. At a time when misinformation is all too common on social media, we take great pride in bringing you the news that matters, that impacts your family, news you can trust. Local broadcast journalists bring you the facts, covering the stories breaking in our community and across the globe. Text TV to 52886 and let Congress know you depend on local journalism. This message furnished by the National Association of Broadcasters. I was arrested and it was for a DUI. You're a school teacher. Being behind bars taught her a lesson. And then you bailed her out of jail. We were off again, on again. She had nobody to turn to. She called me in the middle of the night. I didn't ask him to bail me out. Will she ever learn about gratitude? Well, I feel that... I don't care how you feel. I would like this case to be over. Amen. Next Judge Judy. It's a nice way to start our Monday. Yes. It, really, it is Monday, yes? <laughs> Monday on Live. Adrian Brody from Asteroid City. Plus, Dominique Fishback from Transformers Rise of the Beast. Oh, hi. My gosh, when you realize there are people up top. Um. <laughs> Live Monday on Cherry. We love blockbusters. Movies that are heating up the summer. Plus, 80s heartthrob, Andrew McCarthy. All right, Sunday night coming, winding down, coming to a close. Back to work tomorrow, but first things first. So showers potentially through, through Tuesday, not a washout, kind of what we've been seeing. Some areas staying completely dry. Now, dry later is, I mean, through the middle of the week and the end of the week, then these hot heat indices pushing maybe 105 to 109. We'll talk more about it in just a moment. So we did it 88 earlier today. I don't know, maybe this is ready to uh, to um, change or regauge itself, but uh, average 91, so right around where we're supposed to be. Record though, 99 back in 1990. Okay, things starting to wind down, fizzle down, lose power, lose energy, because we had a few mixes of some, some orange and red, but most of it really has been staying outside of the viewing area. And really, very, very light showers with anything taking place in our area. Really, you gotta go off to the west, southwest, where we are looking at some strong storms, even some severe thunderstorm warnings were taking place at one time. But again, missing us here in the crossroads. Yeah, we don't need to have any strong storms. We could use the rain though. Wind-wise, look at this. On the calm side, you get closer to the water, maybe five mile per hour winds. Last night, we were seeing some 35 mile per hour gusts as these storms just moved into the portions of the viewing area and became on the strong side for just a little bit, just a little bit, but today, hey, those winds back to, I don't wanna say normal, back to calmer, calmer times. And with those calmer winds, here's what we got. A little bit of fog, not impacting everywhere, just some really patchy areas getting taken down to maybe half a mile or less in some spots. So you wanna be, uh, just drive on the safe or the slow side if you encounter some of this fog on the way to work tomorrow. Two points, yeah, you know, 70-ish, pushing 72 in some spots. So, I mean, I may as well just either leave this up or take it down because we're going to be in for a lot of this probably right through October. Okay, so high pressures in the area, kind of fighting it out with some of the storms again um, as well. High pressure kind of pushing down. But hey, as we lose that energy, that power from the sun overnight as the sun's gone down, yeah, the showers are starting to dissipate. But hey, we're going to see something develop again tomorrow. More moisture moves in. All this moisture kind of colliding with one another, getting lift. Yeah, we could see some showers. But as I mentioned, probably late Tuesday into Wednesday, hey, these storms go away and we're headed towards drier times pretty much the rest 
of the week. Let's take another look here on our future tracker. Here's what we have. Okay, some showers on Monday. So this moisture continues to move in. Uh, and then on Tuesday, yeah, we're looking at some more rain chances. But after Tuesday, we start to dry off pretty much the rest of the week. Maybe the weekend, though, could be different. Here's what we got. So seas two feet, bays on the smooth side. Looking ahead, here's what we have. So temperature, water temperature pushing 80. Winds, though, staying on the lighter side. I guess really the biggest problem is, yeah, we have these showers out there over the open waters. That'll probably be the biggest concern out there for the marine forecast. All right. Yeah, tropical activity. We had a little bit in the last week, but hey, nothing taking place for the next 48 hours. 67 overnight, 20% chance of some showers. Really, this rain is starting to fizzle out. I think we're going to stay on the dry side. And tomorrow, hey, we can see some of those showers move in again. Some areas maybe seeing a little bit of rain. Some areas staying on the dry side. Looking ahead, though, I think we all stay on the dry side by Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and maybe Thursday, Friday, those heat indices with the moisture and the temperatures on the rise, yeah, we could see 105, potentially up to 109 degrees with that real feel. And then maybe Saturday again, hey, maybe cool down with some rain showers. For more weather, news, and sports, you can go to our app. That's at CrossroadsToday.com, and that is free with any Android and iPhone. And now we go to Sports with Zach. Thank you, Howie. The Victoria Generals are back, and the Astros and Rangers also in action. I'll have that coming up in sports. Hi folks, Cool Dave letting you know pork chops are back. Look at this beautiful plate. A crispy boneless breaded pork chop, two sides, our signature country gravy, and two of our famous dinner rolls. You can choose any two sides you like. This is a meal just like your grandma would cook, but shh, it might be, just maybe, be better than grandma's. Pick up a plate for yourself today at Grandy's on the Vero near Mockingbird in Victoria. But don't tell grandma. You can enjoy endless entertainment and local news updates for free on our 17 over-the-air channels. Connect your TV antenna to your smart TV in three easy steps. Connect the coaxial cable from your antenna to the back of your TV. Select the menu button on your remote and navigate to the correct input of your antenna. Find the channel scan option and click it. Setting up your antenna will keep you entertained and informed with the latest weather updates and emergency information for free. Call or email for questions or more information. Stay connected and stay safe. My name's Danny, and I absolutely love my F-150. I bought this particular truck because of the Blue Cruise. You literally let go of your hands. It just centers the car in the lane, follows the person in front of me, keeps a safe distance. In my experience, the Ford F-150 is the best in Texas. Lease a new Ford F-150 for just $4.99 a month or choose 0% plus $750 cash. Both include complimentary maintenance. Ford is the best in Texas. Need weather around the clock? When the weather changes in the crossroads, you need a reliable source. Visit Interactive Radar online for the latest conditions in the crossroads area. CrossroadsToday.com. Weather at your fingertips. 25 News Now would like to invite you to experience our new digital streaming service, Crossroads Today Plus. You can find it on your connected TV through Amazon Fire, Roku, Apple TV, Android TV. Go to the link on your screen for more information on how to download. The Victoria Generals are back in town trying to crack the wind column, playing in front of a packed house at Riverside, down 2 nothing until the eighth inning when they would erupt for three runs. They got a two-run double from Gage Gilchrist. Here's what him and Coach Oros had to say. Man, it's good to get one underneath our belt. We were talking earlier in the game, and we just had to stick together and get the job done. It was great coming back. We were so excited to get home in front of our home crowd. Uh, it was kind of dull for the beginning of the game, but we finally gave the crowd something to uh, cheer about in the eighth and ninth inning, and, and the result was in our favor. You missed out if you didn't catch them tonight, but you can catch them tomorrow as well. All right, Shiner moving on to the state tournament up next. They're going to get New Home, who has a record of 34 and 3. Shiner has a very similar record with 35 and 1. The game is on Wednesday at 7 p.m. The Astros trying to break the brooms out on the Angels after taking the first three of the series in the fifth inning. Yiner Diaz sends one to the Crawford boxes to make it 1-0 Houston. J.P. France on the mound for the Astros, throwing a no-no through five and a third innings, but the first hit he gives up is a homer. That's going to tie the game at one, and in the eighth inning, Shohei Otani 
nearly goes yard off the wall for an RBI double to give the Angels a 2-1 to one lead. That would be your final score. The Rangers win today 12-3, to three, but take a look at this play for sure. Looked like a home run off the bat, but Jankowski bringing it right back. The Rangers won by so much, maybe should have just let them have it. Texas winners of their last three, eight of their last ten. They've scored ten or more in three of their last five games. The Astros, if they haven't already, might want to take notice. Game two tonight in, in Denver, Miami feeling confident. Jimmy Butler saying, we know we're going to get four, also says they will play better. Well, now they have one. They were able to squeeze out a very narrow 111 to 108 victory. Miami with three guys with at least 20. Denver got 41 from the Joker. Wasn't enough. Series now tied. Forbes came out with a list of the most profitable franchises in the world. Number one, the Dallas Cowboys. Their three-year total operating income sitting at over $1 billion. At number six, the Houston Texans, $356 million over the last three years. Right behind them, the Golden State Warriors, the Los Angeles Lakers, and the New York Giants. As a Texans fan, i got to be honest with you, glad to see them on the list, but it did shock me. Adam, back to you. All righty. Thanks, Zach. Great footage of the game earlier. Stay with us. Coming up, hundreds of runners took to the street of Highland Park, Illinois today. Every day we help kids navigate the realities of the world and make healthy, lifelong choices. Kids learn about alcohol, tobacco, and drugs in lots of ways, often from friends and siblings. While kids may hear lots of harmful information, parents do play a huge role in helping them make the right decision. Talking to your child, sitting down to a family meal at night just to discuss how their day went, or encouraging extracurricular activities can make all the difference. Navarro Small Animal Clinic provides exceptional veterinary care in the crossroads with complete veterinary services for your pet's wellness, including ultrasound, digital x-rays, and in-house laboratory. Navarro Small Animal Clinic, serving Victoria and surrounding communities with comprehensive veterinary care. Our goal is to provide complete care for your pets. Dr. Shana Boak and her staff at Navarro Small Animal Clinic welcomes your pets Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. at 5009 Country Club Drive. Victory Kia and Victory GMC want to let you know that you can lean on us. We will award $500 to a deserving winner. Drop off an entry form at any of our participating dealerships in the Lean On Me drop box with your story and contact info. Go to crossroadstoday.com slash lean on me for more information or to enter online. You can tune in every other Thursday at the 6, 9, and 10 p.m. news to view our winners. Lean On Me is sponsored by Victory Kia and Victory GMC. Hundreds of runners took to the streets of Highland Park, Illinois today. The Highland Park Strong Half Marathon, 5K and One Mile Races, formerly known as the North Shore Classic, honored the victims of the 4th of July parade tragedy last year, where seven people were killed when a gunman opened fire at Highland Park's 4th of July parade. The proceeds will benefit the Highland Park Shooting Response Fund. This was the 45th year for the marathon. And... Howie, I know you've got some ties to Chicago. You mentioned yeah. your, your sister's from that area? My sister was born in Highland Park, Illinois. Highland wow, Park so you're, yeah, you're really so, familiar with that. Yeah, that's, I grew up not too far from there, but yeah. Our uh, prayers are with everyone affected by that tragedy last year. Horrible, horrible, horrible. But let's take one last look at our weather. So what's going on? Yeah, our radar pretty active earlier. Not as bad as a couple hours ago, but not, not that it ever really got too bad compared to yesterday. Most, again, of the showery activity took place outside of our viewing area, and that's where it is again now. We got some strong storms, but that's off to the west and the southwest where we're staying dry and we're not having anything in the way of thunderstorms or strong thunderstorms. So overnight, 67, that 20% chance, and that means 80% chance we stay dry. And then for tomorrow, hey, some, some moisture does move back in. The sun destabilizes us, and yes, we can see some showers for tomorrow and then looking ahead hey we dry off for a good portion of the week but hey like maybe thursday friday we could see some of those heat indices pushing 105 109 so zach if you're out there with sports gonna be a hot one out there all righty thank you guys and thank you for being with us remember we're to subscribe to our youtube channel crossroads today have a good night and a great week everybody